Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Again, we're going back into Bianco Hills to do shine number six, which should be the secret of the dirty lake. Yep. So, here we go. And this lake is now extremely polluted for some reason, and it hurts you when you touch it. But the object of this mission is to go over to that cave at the back of the lighthouse, which I'm going to be doing from, I mean, I should be, I will be doing with some lily pad surfing, or I should say lily pad crafting of sorts. Um, I could just jump from, like, the top of the lighthouse and get over there. Oh, shoot, why did I do that? Well, it doesn't really matter. I don't need the shortcut anyway, as you can see. Uh, well, I guess I could do it both ways, just to show you how it is. Well, no, I'll do it. Well, for... <laughs> what am I trying to say here? Um, over here is the rocket nozzle, which you can unlock for this level. Um, you have to unlock nozzles for levels individually, so I might as well grab the rocket nozzle right away. Um, you can use this nozzle to... <laughs> you can use this nozzle to easily get up to the top of the lighthouse just by... Woo! Like that, obviously. Or, and this is what the game intended you to do, is go on this here and spray yourself across the lake like this. When you spray, uh, the lily pad goes in the opposite direction. Oh, you have... Hey, don't do that! Come on, come on. Don't. There we go. And eventually, as you can see, the lily pad will dissolve like that. And yeah, I didn't get there fast enough because I was messing around there. My mistake. <laughs> but I always mess around there with my explanations. I should just really focus on the gameplay and just do it my own way. But yeah, this is the way they intended you to do it. But otherwise, what the heck? How did I? Jesus! Freaking! No, no, no! Oh, come on, man! Not fair! Oh, look who's gonna use the rocket nozzle method now! <laughs> but yeah, I guess since I died, I might as well show you the other method. I don't know why the heck I got knocked off that li lily pad. All it did was touch the wall, and I got knocked off of it. That wasn't fair in the least! <sighs> but anyway, I got the rocket nozzle, and I'll be getting the turbo nozzle. Yeah, I looked up the name of it. It's the turbo nozzle at that cave over there. What I want to do is get on those logs with the rocket nozzle, whoa, like so, and try and get all poopers. Did not mean to get... Come on, let me... There we go. And I want to get up to that cave there. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, come on, man. This is not that hard. All I want to do is spin jump into the cave. Like that! There we go! And this will give you the turbo nozzle. This will let you skim across the water as well as zoom at high speeds, which I'll show you how to do later. But as for now, I'm just going to go into the secret area and collect the shine of it. Yeah, it's another one of those super special bonus time areas. And this time we got some flipping platforms. Those things over there, they flip it with alternating colors, like they'll flip red, then blue, red, then blue, blah, blah, blah. It's not really all that hard, but you just gotta be aware of the color flipping and be very patient so you don't fall into the abyss. So see, red, blue, and now it's gonna be blue, and it's gonna be red! Oh, no, no, no. oh my god! <laughs> I grabbed onto the edge. Okay, over here, to get to that block over there, the easiest way is just to wall jump over to it like that. And then it'll start moving like this, and start tilting and tumbling all over the place like that. And you gotta either run or jump to the flat surface, or I should say the other surface of it, of which is gonna be turning upwards. And as you can see, these things are out to kill you, just because they can. And we've got another one of these block things, which is gonna tilt in a much more awkward fashion. As you can see, but now it's flipping at different angles, and I got another extra life, awesome! Because I just lost three lives in this walkthrough today already, yay! Well, I should say in the last couple of parts. Come on, get up there safely, there we go! Alright, things are going good now! Oh man, I just cursed myself. And jump across, oh boy! Oh boy! Um, wait, 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 you're gonna flip over... Uh, how do I get... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh, poopers! I don't know how to get across there. Oh, 
Alright, we're back over here, and I accidentally found the technique that I could use to save myself if I need to from falling into the abyss. Uh, you can just spin jump and land on the same colored one while it's spinning, like this. And what the heck was that? Well, that does work. get this. I mean, I have to, right? <laughs> I mean, it has to be possible. They wouldn't design something that's impossible. And there we go. <laughs> Finally. That took way too long. Grab your shine and leave. Alright, the next shine is Shadow Mario on the loose. Our first Shadow Mario level. There is one for each of the main levels of the game, and a bunch of them in Delfino Plaza. Basically, the objective is to just squirt him with water, just like you did before, to save Peach. Uh, so, yeah! Just, that's really all there is to it, then. I'm not spraying over him somehow. He's not hard at all to get. Now watch this! He jumps in- he jumps into the water. He's weak against water, but he jumps into it. I, I I don't get it. Maybe maybe Flood's water is like special water or something like that. That's why it can fit so much into it, but that doesn't make much sense because you know you fill up Flood in normal bodies of water that he just swam in, so oh, whatever. Don't question the logic. Anyway, he's down. <laughs> that was pretty quick. And uh, you are gonna die. And I will get the shine! And here comes episode 8. Red Coins of the Lake. Uh, this one's a lot harder than the first Red Coin one. It'll definitely test your uh, platforming skills, for sure. Um, you definitely have to also get used to those physics on wires, like these right here. I, f I forgot to explain the controls on these, so I might as well do that as well. Um, basically, you can't fall off on them, no matter which direction of the control stick you tap. So you can only go in one direction at a time, and you can also jump off them like that, and that's really all there is to it. But certain things can knock you right off those wires, so yeah, you get the idea. So, now there's red coin what, right over... Wait, can't I, like, sprint? Oh, you're right, you have to get them when they're outside. I should say, when they're not in the ground. You can kill these guys that burrow in the trees by just spraying them and then uh, jumping on their head. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, oh, I can't climb up these trees. There's a little uh, border thingies there. See those spiky things? They don't hurt if you touch them, but... They, they just gets in your way and you can't climb up to the top. But anyway, what I want to do is get across those trees and onto the wires nearby, because there's a red coin over there. Uh, it's... Oh, I could have just got the rocket nozzle to get it too, I guess. But I, I typically just like to get it this way on my way to it. And here you go. That's your first red coin. And over there is the rocket nozzle. Which I am definitely going to get for this, because this is a very, very, very vertical level. So, grab that, and if you ever fall off a of wire accidentally, all you can do, I mean, all you have to do is just boost yourself up with the rocket nozzle. That's coin number two, and coin number three should be coming up in the, uh, or I should say, on the next wire. All those wind enemies, they're about to shoot themselves at you, you'll see them make a lot of noise, and then they'll their bodies at you, uh, all you have to do is jump to dodge them. They only go to where you were last, like they only aim themselves to where you were last, so it's not really a big deal to dodge them. Uh, almost got there, we go, it's the next red coin. I'm just gonna drop down over here to get the two red coins. Yeah! I got that one. And there's another one right over here. 
get it? Can I get it on the down? Can I get it? Oh, poopers! Okay, let's try and get this by jumping out and rocketing. Oh, come on, man. This is not that hard. Hey. Just a little bit adjustment. There we go. That's number five. Now I'm going to go up top to get the other three. Whee! Okay, that was completely unnecessary, but it's fun nonetheless. And wait, maybe, maybe I should get up to the top from over here because it's higher. And so, I didn't want to wall jump, Mario. Uh, okay, so now what you want to do is go onto these wires here and get yourself, uh, get yourself the rocket charge jump when you're in the air, like that. And you want to aim from that wire over there. Come on now! This timing is not that tricky. Jump! There we go! And oh, I missed the wire. Oh, I should be able to get this one. I mean, I should be able to get to that wire. I always use this as a shortcut for this one. Come on. Yeah! Come on, man. Come on. There we go! All time. There's the wind guys there. They won't knock you ow. <laughs> they won't knock you off if they hit you, but they'll make you uh, climb onto the ropes on the side, or I should say, make you hang onto the ropes on the side. Oh, I should also add that uh, the uh, rocket nozzle uses a lot more water than what you're used to. Anyway, there, there's the seventh red coin. I forgot where the eighth one is. It always seems like in red coin missions, you always, always forget where the last one is. Oh, wait, wait, there is that one. It, it's just it's just how they work. It's like they're they're programmed to dodge your eyes or something like that. Yeah, I just said dodge your eyes. Ah, oh, I mistimed that. Wait, is that a oh, that's a blue? Oh, I see where it is. I see where it is. I can get up to there. Oh, I think I would prefer the, the hover nozzle for this one. But I'll take what I can get here and get this all charged up. Oh no 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 no! Don't fall. I said, don't fall! Curses, Mario! Now I gotta climb back up there! And we're back on these wires. Hopefully this time with more success. <laughs> Here we go! Oh, wait, how do I get to those up there? Maybe I should get- maybe I really should get the hover nozzle and, uh... Uh, just hover on over there instead of using the rocket nozzle. Let's try and get it from here. Oh, come on, man! This is definitely possible. I can tell it already. Let's just try that again. And upsie doodle to there we go. It's all time. And now I'll be able to get the red coin. Just by double jumping up on this wire. I shouldn't call it a double jump. It's more like a... Oh, I don't want to bump that pokey over there, so I'm just going to go over on this platform so I can hover over. And... Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. But basically, I want to get to that wire there. Jump! There we go. <sighs> and where... I've seen that red coin. There it is. Yay! And the shine sprite appears in the middle of that windmill over there, which I might be able to just... Hover nozzle over to from here. Let's give it a shot. I hope I don't have to go get the rocket nozzle again. That would kind of suck. Oh, I made it up here. That's good. That's a good sign. I can just use this to get up there and collect the shine. And, hmm. Here we go. Yay! Oh, I just looked at the time. I think. That's about all I'll have in this part, so I'm going to end it here, and I'll see you guys in the next part, when I do the two secret shines of Bianco Hills. See you then!